Hi, I'm Tim, and you're watching Mr. Tim Tech on YouTube. Do you have one of these? And do you want to know how to open two KeyPass XC databases with one YubiKey? Well, keep watching and I'll show you how. I've been asked by a number of my subscribers and uh, channel supporters if it's possible to use one YubiKey to open more than one KeyPass XC database. Well, it actually is. You can actually use a YubiKey to store up to two credentials to access two different KeyPass or KeyPass XC databases. So let me show you how to do it. Firstly, what you need to do is go onto the Ubico website, as you can see I've done here. And if you click on support and then from the menu that pops up, select downloads. This will then take you into the downloads page, as you will see on screen here. And what you need to do is download the YubiKey manager from this section here. Click on downloads, select your operating system and download and then install YubiKey manager. I've already installed YubiKey manager. It's just a simple process. Follow the instructions on screen with the wizard and it will install YubiKey Manager. Once you have installed YubiKey Manager, you then need to open YubiKey Manager. As you'll see, it has done on the screen at the moment. And with your YubiKey inserted, click on Applications and then select OTP, which is the first menu option. This will then take you into the OTP screen and you should see one section for short touch slot one and the other section for long touch slot two. And it should also say this slot is empty for both of them. Now, if it doesn't, and for example, you purchased a brand new YubiKey and you've just inserted your brand new YubiKey, you will notice that one of the slots, it will say, has already been programmed. Now this is actually done at the factory from Yubico, and what it actually is programmed with is something called YubiCloud. Now as you will see on screen at the moment, I'm in the YubiCloud website, on Ubico and this is what your key will come factory programmed with which is why it's saying that one of the slots is actually being programmed. Now in most cases you will not be using YubiCloud so in this case provided you can confirm that you are definitely not using YubiCloud I'm sure you will know if you are because you will be registered with the YubiCloud service if you are not registered with YubiCloud you can actually go ahead and delete the credentials in the actual YubiKey for one of the slots so once you have clicked delete on the relevant slot that you want to actually remove you can actually delete both of them but if you are already using one of the slots to access a KeyPass XC database, then before you click delete, you must open up your KeyPass database. So as you'll see, it's saying that slot one is already configured. This is because I've already programmed it to use with KeyPass XC. So before you actually delete the credentials, for any of your slots, make sure you open KeyPass XC with your YubiKey and keep the database open. Then, with your database open, select the database menu option and scroll down until you see database security. Select 
database security from the database menu. This will then take you into the database credential screen. Under challenge response, you should see an option to remove challenge response. Now what we are going to do is remove challenge response first so that we can clear the YubiKey and then we will re-enable challenge response again with the YubiKey using some new credentials. So click remove challenge response. This has then removed challenge response. So just click OK. This will take you then back to the main database screen. You can then open up YubiKey Manager again, as you'll see I've done on screen now, and click on Delete. And for the confirmation screen, click Delete Slot Yes. You should then have two empty slots. Now, to use the two slots with two different databases for KeyPass XC, what we need to do is reprogram them. So, with your first KeyPass database still open, as you will see on screen at the moment, and also with YubiKey Manager open, as you will now see on screen, what we need to do for slot one is click on the configure button. Then from the select credential type, you need to select challenge response. Once you've selected challenge response, click next. Then for the challenge response screen, you will see an option for secret key. What you need to do is click generate. This will then fill in the secret key box with a random list of hex value characters. Now what we need to do is temporarily copy this secret key and paste it into, for example, a notepad document. This is only temporary until we finish programming the YubiKey and also your KeyPass XC2 databases. So paste the actual challenge response secret key into a notepad document, click on finish in the YubiKey manager, then go back into KeyPass XC and then select database from the menu option. Then go back into database security. So select database security from the menu that drops down. Then for the screen with database credentials, click add additional protection. Then with the two options that appear for key file and challenge response, select the option for add challenge response. Under challenge response, you should now see that it selected the YubiKey for slot one. Click OK and then go into the database menu option and click save database. This has now saved the KeyPass XC database with the new YubiKey credentials. So to program the second database, what you need to do is open up the second KeyPass XC database. I'm selecting database number two and it's asking me for a password. So I'm just going to enter the password for the second KeyPass XC database and then click unlock. Now this database of course doesn't have any YubiKey credentials as this is the second database. So what we're going to do now is program the second database into the YubiKey. So what we need to do is go back into YubiKey Manager. As you'll see, I've opened up YubiKey Manager on the screen and you will now see that we have slot one which is configured. So to program the second database, we will put it into slot two. 
so click configure under slot 2 select challenge response click next then for secret key click generate again highlight the secret key that's just been generated and paste this temporarily again into your notepad document when you have pasted it into your notepad document you can then click finish on the YubiKey manager screen it will now say that this slot is configured and it will say that for both of them now so then what you need to do is open up KeePass XC again with your second database open select the database menu option and again scroll down in that menu and select database security under database credentials click on the add additional protection button and then click on add challenge response it will then detect your YubiKey and what you need to do is select slot 2 do not select slot 1 otherwise it will use the same credentials to open the first KeePass database you need to select slot 2 and then click OK then from the database menu option again select database from the menu and then from the menu that drops down select save database this has now saved both of your databases so that you can access them with a password and also in addition the YubiKey so now your YubiKey has been programmed with two credentials to access two different KeePass XC databases so that's how easy it is to add a second database to your YubiKey. Now, as we've pasted in the credentials into a notepad document, as you will see on screen at the moment, as a bonus tip, what you need to do to create a duplicate YubiKey so that you have a backup YubiKey what you would need to do is insert your YubiKey into a USB slot on your computer open up YubiKey manager as you will see I have done on screen and then click the relevant slot so you would select configure on the relevant slot then from the menu option select challenge response and click next then for the secret key what you would need to do is paste in the copied key from the original notepad document and paste it into the secret key box on your YubiKey. So you would paste it in to the secret key line on the actual YubiKey manager. Once you have pasted that in there, click finish and it will say it's already configured. If it is already configured, do you want to overwrite the existing configuration? Click yes. And, and for slot two, you would again click configure, select challenge response, select next, and then paste in the second key into the secret key box, which we pasted from our original YubiKey into the notepad document. So you're pasting in the code from the notepad document for the second KeePass XC database. Click finish and click yes to overwrite it. Then you now have a duplicate YubiKey which you can use to access KeePass XC should your main YubiKey fail. So that completes this video. I hope you found this video useful and you are able to follow it easily. Thanks for watching and keep a lookout for further videos soon. Take care. Bye for now.